should have told that nigga in the beginning. Hey guys, nigga, so nigga, this yourself. is another nigga, one of my tutorial videos, so wrong, basically, really, where I'm going to show you all styles that you can achieve with this curly water wave wig that I got from the vendor, um, Miss Lynn Hair Company. So right now I'm just showing you all how I laid the baby hair and then how versatile the wig is. Um, right now I'm going to keep it in its natural state and I'm just going to show you all a couple styles with its natural state. And then I'm going to show you all a couple styles with it, you know, wet and a little bit of product on it. So the first style that I'm doing is basically a half up, half down, you know, the famous half up, half down with curly hair. Um, and I'm just trying to get the part, not necessarily straight, but somewhat of, you know, some of the hair up, some of the hair down, because I'm not really focused on the part. And you can see that I'm kind of like tugging the hair a little bit because it is in its natural state. And when it's in its natural state, it kind of dries together. So I'm just pulling the hair apart a little bit to untangle it. And for some reason, I, the part is so defined that it's hard for me not to get the part to show. So I just left it for this purpose. Um, and as you can see, I'm just getting my ponytail holder and placing that on the hair to keep it up. Um, right here, I was trying to fix the camera so that you all can see my ponytail when I'm putting it on, but the camera was not working for me. <laughs> So I just decided to leave it until I had both hands free. So I'm still getting that ponytail put on and I decided to fix the camera now that I finally had my ponytail up. And in a few moments you will see that I finally got it fixed. Okay, there we go. And now I'm just fluffing out the ponytail so that you can, so you can't see my ponytail holder. I'm just showing you all this style. I kind of got a little tweezer happy with the front, the front part of my wig. So I had to put a little black um, quick cover. I used um, Kiss Cover Root Touch Up in black to get a little bit of that <laughs> lace from showing. All right, and then this next style I'm using I'm doing is just the high pony half up half down um bun I'm sorry and I just showed you all my bobby pin that I'm using to secure it and this is another style that's really cute curly hair that you can rock either way and my next hairstyle that I'm going to show you all, I'm actually going to spray the hair. So you'll see me pulling out my water bottle and of course it has my cuckoo conditioner from Organics. Finally got it right y'all. <laughs> and had, um, three fourths of water. Now I'm just spraying the hair vigorously. I always get the the um the spray bottle to come shooting out versus spraying out so that's why you saw me trying to fix it <laughs> so i'm just spraying the hair especially the roots because i want to be able to part the hair um for these next couple of styles <clears throat> so i'm just spraying 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 water is getting everywhere by the way i gotta clean my phone clean my light everything <laughs> but I'm trying to achieve this style, so water is needed. And right here, I kind of forgot that I had tangles in my hand of the stray hair from the other side, so I just showed you all that um, little bit of hair that I got from the other side. And right here, I'm just spraying the roots again on the opposite end, get that hair to be able to be parted. And like I said, with water, with water on this hair, it just comes to life. Like either way, it's really cute. But I really love it when I first put water on it to do any style on it because it just looks so pretty and lustrous. I love it. Okay, so I'm about to show you all the hair that I got from doing both sides of my hair. And that 
wasn't too bad, so just got, went on ahead and put it to the side. So now I'm about to do basically a little twist in just the front part of the hair. I started with this twist, um, but then I decided to take that out and do a twist going from the all the way down in the front, all the way down in the front. Um, and I realized that I did it the wrong way, so I had to go back and redo it <laughs> the opposite way. So I'm just twisting the hair over itself in the opposite direction. And then I'm just gonna put my bobby pin in the back to secure it. And this is like a half, just the front half that I'm twisting, not the whole hair, not all the hair. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do the same to the other side, twisting away from my face and just wrapping the hair around itself. It's the easiest twisting method. Um, you can do two strand twists or you can do this twist or you can do a braid, it really doesn't matter, whatever your preference is. And you can see right here <laughs> how I had to use the quick, the kiss quick touch up <laughs> from my edges on the wig, but it's all good. <laughs> it still works, okay? And now that I have both sides secure, this will be like my half twisted look. And I'm just showing you all the back of how it would look. And them curls are popping in. And literally all I put on it was the water and conditioner. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm just showing off the look a little bit. Because I actually kind of, I was feeling this look. I might actually wear this look today, honestly. <laughs> so I'm taking the hair out so I can show you all the first look that I was trying to show you um, that I took out but basically I'm going to just part the hair so that you can see how the hair parts and <clears throat> what it looks like in the root. I did bleach the hair and I did use the right ripped fabric dye in dark brown mixed with the sandstone color. Um, because I found that the dark brown by itself was too dark for my skin tone. So mixing it with the sandstone, which is like a tannish color, kind of really brought back my skin complexion in the um, wig. So that's why the frontal roots look so good and blend so well with my scalp. And I can get, give you more descriptions if you want to see like a tutorial on how I bleach my roots or the knots and use the red dye. I can definitely make a video for you all showing that. <clears throat> oh, and my camera went out somehow in that part. So that's why I, it had to start all over. But just showing you all from where I left off. Just doing the opposite side. Gonna part so that you all can see that this frontal or this wig can be parted anywhere because it's a 360 slash full lace. But I didn't bleach the back or the middle, so didn't really show you all that part because it wouldn't be necessary. <laughs> so I just showed you all the front. And like I did on the sides, I'm just twisting the hair around each other, around itself, going backwards this time, instead of going down on the side. And then using a bobby pin to put it in place. And like I said, you can do two strand twists, or you can do braids, or you can do this twist over method. Doesn't really matter, either way, it'll probably be really cute, but I was just doing these methods just for the simplicity of the video. And I'm just showing you how it looks all around. Alright, and then for my last two styles, <laughs> I'm getting the hair prep for that. So the next style is going to be a pony, not necessarily a high pony, but just like pony for you, like if you're working out or if you're trying to make a quick oh I saw some wet stuff on my shirt and it was probably from the water so that kind of got my attention <laughs> but basically I'm doing a pony I would say like a mid-length pony um midway pony 
Um, I didn't really want to do a high pony, but you could do a high pony with this hair. I didn't want to do a high pony because I'm just trying to keep the video simple. <laughs> but um, right here, I'm just fixing the back, pulling out the baby hairs in the back, making sure that the wig is secured in the back. <laughs> And you can see a little bit of my lace that I didn't realize, but throughout the video, I'll fix it. And puffing out my pony, which is really cute. I never wore it in a ponytail, but it's actually really cute. It makes me look like a little, you know, a little kid again, almost. <laughs> Some styles I look like I'm 30. Some styles I look like I'm 13. So, you know, <laughs> can never get away from it. And I'm just fixing the back, um, making sure that that's secured, and showing you all how the back view looks. And I'm puffing out the hair. Okay, and I'm just showing you all that. So then the last and final style <laughs> I'm showing you is basically just the little high bun. So like, this hair is so versatile that you can do pretty much anything with it. And so the high bun is really showing off the versatility and also showing off the, basically the texture and everything of the hair. So I'm just going around showing you all how that looks. And the curls are still popping. That's why I'm like, how? I love this hair, it's so pretty. So that is all I have for you all. I hope this video was informative and I will see you on the next one. Bye.